what's up welcome back okay I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it I don't know how many times I've started this video over this is so weird for me okay let me go ahead and tell you guys this is the retro bombs back to school again box and I'm gonna do an unboxing to show you guys this stuff this is my box uh, this is a collaborative theme box and I did come up with this and um, I've got some awesome indie vendors in here that helped me um, create and design some products in here and I'm going to show you these things. I almost didn't make this video and then I thought that's ridiculous because you guys are going to want to see these products. They're awesome and there's no reason I shouldn't make this video just because it might make me a little bit uncomfortable to show my stuff to you guys because I'm incredibly introverted quite honestly that's just the way I feel about it so um, I will tell you guys this though there are two awesome um, unboxing videos already out on YouTube Inky Mac has one she is just so creative and it's just incredibly entertaining so definitely go ahead and check that out she's um, just super informative and she's always really honest so I'm gonna link that um, at the end of this video and also Lush a lot has unboxed this and um, I'm just was real honored that she noticed it and purchased it and unboxed it on her channel so definitely go ahead and check those out when you're done watching this but anyway let me go ahead and show you this box okay now this one is a little I've just I've overstuffed it and it's beat up I've just tested it and just like knocked it around so don't go by the shape of, of this one because it's kind of my prototype but anyway so this box looks like an old school 80s trapper keeper that I used to have and all these ideas are inspired by going back to school shopping in the 80s and how fun it was and it just kind of you know made you feel like you were just kind of ready for the big day and you like really were just super cool and all that is just really nostalgic and kind of gives me like a warm and fuzzy feelings when I think back to all that and I think a lot of people when they look back at things that or think back to things like that that they used to have it gives them like a special feeling and um, that's kind of the inspiration behind this whole like retro bath product feeling um, idea that I've got is that maybe I can trigger some of those memories for some other people in bath products and kind of merge two things that I love together like that but anyway let's go ahead and open this now well first of all let me show you it is wrapped in the shiny vinyl to kind of have that trapper keeper feeling all over and it also has a velcro flap which is pretty cool i think now i can't show it to you like this like the way it's meant to be and this will have it has a sticker on it when if you got it it would have a sticker on it but like i said this is kind of mine that i just play around with um so this is the top and this is the bottom i'm going to turn her around like this though so you guys can see it better okay so like I said this is the side and let me just check hang on one sec I think my lighting might be better with that okay okay we'll see that might be better okay all right so let's take this off here okay actually that was flipped over okay so here's the card there is the card and it says submerge yourself in nostalgia that's kind of like my little tagline and these are bathtub time machine boxes that's what I'd like to call them and this is the back to school again theme and it'll be different every time um, okay so let's just start off with this is what your little invoice will look like it's folded like a little old school note that you used to like pass around to your friends and sometimes the teacher would pick it up and you get in trouble and you'd be like oh crap you know I hope she didn't read it out loud to the class <laughs> that kind of thing um, but on the back of the card it says what all the products are and who the makers are and I kind of know those by heart so I won't have to like mess up reading it so that's good um, but this is just a little bag of like some things that I remember that like I could kind of still find. They're not maybe exactly like they used to be, but this is a retractable pencil with like a bunch of different colors. I remember that we used to have these. This is like, it's a stackable pencil. It's got like the little crayon pieces in it, all different colors. These are pretty much just novelty things now, but 
This is an eraser. It's got like the fruit on it. These come in like all different colors. Um, I think these used to smell, like have a scent, but they don't now. Um, just finding these things was so much fun um, and putting these together. And this is just like a little self inking stamper. So you can just take the top off and it just stamps. We had some really cool stampers back in the day, but they don't really have those anymore, but they're that cute. Um, this is an actual Lip Smackers, Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers. You know, I love lip balms, so we might see some more lip balms in these boxes. And I don't know how often these boxes will come out. It will definitely not be monthly. It is not a subscription. It's just how often these ideas and collaborations come together. Okay, so first thing is from Mystic Bubbles. This is a soap. It is a crayon soap. It is totally cute. It's glittery. It is a glitter soap. This is two ounces. I think and it's just really cute I thought it was just totally appropriate and it comes with a little tag that says retro bombs back to school again so um, mystic bubbles is on Etsy so you can go ahead and check them out they've got lots of cool novelty soaps like this this is actually like a party favor I think they make these for like parties um, this actually like I said I've already like tried to record this video so many times I don't know maybe hopefully I'll get through it this time um, so I dug into this <laughs> whipped soap once already trying to show you guys the consistency but this is the unicorn fluffed whipped soap from mama bass handmade soap and I love her whipped soap a lot of whipped soaps I've tried have they're too thick and when you go to get some in your hand and like squish it together it comes through your fingers and you've got to kind of like try to get it off the back of your fingers it's come through and you got to squish it and work it in your hands again hers is just the perfect consistency it's and I'll try to show you again it's very whipped and creamy and it works in your hands really good and it's just like actually what you would think I what I would think a whipped soap is supposed to be like and have the consistency of it's perfect for shaving it's absolutely perfect for shaving so that's why I like this so much and obviously you can put it in a loofah and just use it as a soap soap but I love to use it for shaving so anyway and this is scented in um, saltwater taffy and of course it's got like a unicorn horn on the top and it's got sparkles in the neon colors makes me think of like you know Lisa Frank inspired so let me go wipe my hands off so that is the story behind the inspiration of the whip soap so now that item is sold in her store sometimes she absolutely um, created that that really has nothing to do with me except for that I love this product of hers now this one is also mama bass handmade soap now I hope you guys at least some of you guys that are maybe not quite as old as me but um, will recognize that this looks just like um, one of the old school scratch and sniff stickers that's hard to say sometimes I get tongue twisted and say that wrong um, I'm gonna put up a little clip of um, the demo I did I've got all these um, like pictures and um, demos up on Instagram I know I've been absent here on YouTube but I've just been I don't know a little camera shy a little anxious about just talking about this box on here but so I'm gonna put clips throughout this um, this video of these products so you guys can see them in action I'm not going to do individual videos of each one of them but so this is bubblegum scented obviously but this is like one of the old scratch and sniff stickers and so this one is called bubblegum wow that's what she named it and it smells like bubblegum and it's got pink embeds and it looks like a bubblegum explosion and I was just so thrilled that she could make me something that looked like that because this was one of my favorite stickers and I just I, I love it I think it's absolutely adorable okay so this one is a bubble bar this one is from mad and Mac and when I thought I wanted a bubble bar I knew I was going straight to Sherry I just knew it so um, I had my original idea I said hey what do you think about this and she said oh absolutely I can do that and then she came back to me and she said I think we might have a problem with the original idea and I said okay well how about this and she said absolutely this will be a great idea I can do that and this is what we came up with and it's 
beautiful. I love it. I've never seen anything like it. She's so talented. I've never seen anything like this in a bubble bar. It's just amazing. This is scented in Cherry Limeade, and this is hands down the best bubble bar I've ever smelled. It's it's awesome. It's it's big, almost bigger than my hand. It's really heavy, and I love the consistency of her bubble bars, and I'll put a little clip of this one up in the corner too, me chopping it. Honestly, I feel like that my bubble bar um, demos aren't really that good. <laughs> They're not really that good, so I haven't um, actually shot the demo of me in the tub with this, but I do have a clip of me chopping it up, which was, oh, was very satisfying. So anyway, um, this is awesome. I love this. Now, um, this is a little washcloth from Me and Mom's Crafts, and she's on Etsy. This is... Um, this is all cotton. Typically, you don't, or my mom, she crochets. She's crocheted her whole life. She taught my daughter how to crochet. I have afghans all over my house. But the reason this can be a washcloth is that it's cotton, and usually I think it's nylon or acrylic, maybe acrylic, that they crochet with. But since this is cotton, it is used as a washcloth. So um, when I saw these on Etsy, I thought that would just be perfect to go in the box, and you could use any kind of soap that you want to use. Um, with this and so I just think it's really pretty and it goes with the theme so we have a washcloth and this one is from rock and oil and this one is a bath bomb and it's called school days and that is named after a Chuck Berry song um, Chanel names all of her bath bombs after songs which is super cool she's a super cool person so I ask her like what do you think about a design kind of like on notebook paper where you kind of doodle and you may maybe have like rainbow or whatever and she was like that's awesome and then she's like what do you think about this and I was like that's awesome and she said I have an incredible idea and then she decided that she would add this little crayon soap that you could write on this bath bomb and make it interactive and I just thought I've just never seen anything like it it's incredible I mean just yes just please yes that's awesome so even though this looks white it looks a little unassuming it's incredibly brightly colored it has tons of embeds it's scented in fizzy blue raspberry and strawberry soda and i was lucky enough to be able to pick out the scent and this is just an incredible bath bomb so you can only get this in this box and same goes for the bubble gum and same goes for this art splash bubble bar so that is it. That is what is in this box. I'm really proud of it. I'm honestly really proud that I've gotten through this unboxing. It might be more than you guys wanted to know, but that is the deal with that. So please, you guys ask me any questions. Um, I do still plan on, you know, being able to, to demo other things and trying other companies. I'm not abandoning that altogether. I just um, have wanted to have a little more of a different kind of creative outlet and um, yeah, just haven't felt entirely comfortable in front of the camera lately. I don't know why, I just got anxiety issues. I know a lot of people understand that. It's just something that I've always had issues with. Um, that's one reason I've been real proud that I've been able to do my YouTube channel because that's really helped my anxiety and um, that kind of thing. But anyway, you guys, so let me know what you think about this box. Definitely go check it out if you're interested. Um, I've got, like I said, more information on my Instagram that's linked down below. And also, um, the website is retrobombs.com. So if you are interested, please go check it out. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. And don't forget to go um, check out and support um, Ingrid on Inky Mac um, and Leshalot, her unboxing. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around since I haven't been around lately for me. See you next time. Bye-bye.